Hello, today I will show you how to build this galvanometer and the basic principle of operation. This is the indicator needle. It has two neodymium magnets around the axis of rotation. The needle goes in a little tube that is here so that it can move freely. But the axis is not centered so the weight is shifted to the right and the needle rests in this position. The coil produces the magnetic field that makes the needle rotate and goes in this position. It is made with magnet wire size 34 and has 200 turns. Finally, I added a piece of cardboard for the scale and a pair of copper posts for connection. Let's test it. I will apply 0.1 volts. The coil has a resistance of 29 ohms. Because of ohms low, the current will be voltage divided by resistance, that is 0.1 volts divided by 29, and this gives 0.00345 amps, or a current of 3.45 milliamps. Now in order to have a current of 5 milliamps we need to apply a voltage equal to 0.145 that is 0 0.145 volts. My power supply is not that precise, so I will use a value of 0.15 volts. I have placed a mark at the 5 milliamp position. However, I see a problem with this design and I think that there is too much friction at the axle because let's see the needle moves correctly to the market position but if we start to lower the voltage the needle doesn't want to move proportionately. And the same happens if we start to increase the voltage. It now moves until we put 0.12 volts. You see? So, in order for the galvanometer to be more precise, a different approach is needed to balance the needle. As you can see, I used a needle as the axle that goes inside this little aluminum tube. And that seems to have too much friction. Also, it doesn't help that all the weight is on the left because of the magnets. So, a different approach is needed in order to reduce the friction. 
how it works? Okay, we know that when a current passes through a coil, it becomes an electromagnet. It will have a north pole at one side and a south pole in the other side or vice versa, depending on the current. Let's assume that we have a north pole above and a south pole below. The magnets are south pole to the right and north to the left. So when the coil is energized, the south pole of the magnet will be attracted by the north pole of the coil that is above and the needle will rotate because the magnets want to align with the magnetic field of the coil. Okay, so as a measurement instrument it is not precise. However, I hope it helps to understand the basic principle of the galvanometer. I will think on a new design that reduces the friction and makes the galvanometer perform better. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.